Senator Atkins, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I am uh, joined by my colleague uh, from Sacramento, and today we are recognizing a very special group of Americans. With us are the veterans of the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, the most decorated military unit in U.S. history based on its size and the length of service. These veterans are members of the greatest generation who fought during World War II to keep democracy alive. They are also second generation Japanese Americans, our Nisei, the native born sons of Japanese immigrants. In 1942, amid the turmoil of war, approximately 120,000 Japanese Americans living on the mainland were incarcerated in camps. Two thirds were American born citizens and many young Nisei men sought to enlist in the military, eager to defend their country. But they were initially classified as 4C or enemy aliens and barred, uh, barred from military service. That soon changed. In February of 1943, President Franklin D. Roosevelt activated the 442nd Regimental Combat Team following the activation of Hawaii's 100th Infantry Battalion in June of 1942. The two units would later merge with the 100th retaining the designation based on its unparalleled combat record. With the battle cry of go for broke, the 442nd fought in eight major campaigns in Italy, France, and Germany. Their most famous victory was the rescue of the Lost Battalion, a unit of Texans cut off from their regiment uh, in the Vorhi Mountains. The Nisei unit rescued the 211 Texans after six days of entrapment, suffering more than 800 casualties in the battle. The 442nd fought on, helping to break the Gothic line and celebrating a jubilant VE Day on May 8, 1945. In a speech to the 442nd, President Harry Truman said, you fought not only the enemy, you fought prejudice and you won. Today, the 442nd's values of loyalty, patriotism, and selflessness remain as relevant as in 1943. They fought for freedom and social justice, helping lead the way for the civil rights movement, integration of the U.S. military, and greater opportunity for all Americans. Now I will turn it over to my colleague to recognize the individuals who are with us today. Thank you, Madam President. I'm Madam President, Senators, on behalf of the API Legislative Caucus and as the Senator from Sacramento, it's an honor to welcome and recognize the veterans of the 40, 442nd Regimental Combat Team in the California State Senate. I also want to thank the Go For Broke National Education Center, the Japanese American National LA Museum, the Senate District 32 staff, and our very own Pro Tem for taking the lead in organizing this event. This year marks the 75th anniversary of the formation of the 442nd Regimental Combat Team. Today, we do not hesitate to recognize the bravery, courage, and sacrifice of the Japanese American men who fought for the United States of America in World War II. Today, we do not think twice of honoring the most decorated American unit, where approximately 18,000 Japanese American men served, eventually earning 9,486 Purple Hearts, 21 Medals of Honor, an unprecedented eight presidential unit citations, and a total of 18,143 awards, including the Congressional Gold Medal presented by President Barack Obama. But that is today. When these men first enlisted to serve in the Army, they were considered enemies of the state. This very chamber considered a resolution that would lead to the firing of all state workers of Japanese ancestry before everyone of Japanese ancestry, not Italian or German, were placed in internment camps. These men fought despite their families being imprisoned back home. Even after the war, these men returned to prejudice and continued to fight a different battle. They paved the way not only for Japanese Americans or Asian Americans, but for all Americans. They showed us what it means to truly be American and fought for a better world. Even my own office was better able to see the benefit of this better world they fought for because one of my staffers, whose grandfather served in the 44 second, wouldn't have been here today to draft these talking points. But today is but a humble recognition of what they deserve. I want to leave you with a quote from a book published by the US Army in honor of the 442nd Regimental Combat Team. Quote, to the Nisei who have asked, who have asked only for the right to be called American, not Japanese Americans, this is dedicated. They have richly earned the right. Now I would like to recognize our special guests. 
Dr. Mitchell T. McKee, President and CEO of Go For Broke National Education Center. Ann Burroughs, President and CEO of the Japanese American National Museum. Yash Nakamura, veteran of the 442nd Regimental Combat Team. Sir. Toke Yoshihashi, veteran of the 100th uh, Infantry Battalion. Don Saki, veteran of the 442nd, escorted by his daughter, Tracy Saki Matsuyama. Uh, Fernando Sosa Masuda, veteran of the 442nd. Uh, Lawson Sa Sakahi, a veteran of the 442nd. Uh, Maso Kadata Kadota, veteran of 442nd. S Sam Sakamoto, veteran of the 442nd. Don Miyada, veteran of the 100th Infantry Battalion. Stephen Kawamura, Senate staff and nephew of two veterans of the 442nd. Thank you. And Alyssa Oshida, staff in my office and granddaughter of the decorated veteran of the 442nd. In addition, we have many family members of current or deceased members of the 100th Infantry Battalion and the 442nd Regimental Combat Team in the gallery today. Uh, please join me in giving them all a well welcome, warm welcome to the California State Senate. Ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't be more proud to have these eight distinguished veterans and their families who made the Golden State and all of America proud. Let's give them a warm California State Senate welcome. We would welcome all members of the Senate. Please take a picture with these heroes.